Hello, and in this video we're going to look at corrected speed. So, corrected speed is the speed that a component, so let's say a compressor disc, uh, would rotate if the inlet temperature was equivalent to sea level conditions. So let's take a, a disc, for example, a compressor disc, and it's rotating uh, at some speed and it has a radius R. Well, I know that the velocity at the tip of the disc is equal to omega r. The velocity can be expressed in Mach number, where Mach number is v over a. So the velocity at sea level conditions, v naught, is equal to omega naught, so the um, radians per second at sea level times the radius. And that should be equal to, just rearranging this equation, the Mach number times the speed of sound at sea level, which is gamma or T0. Now, in a lot of these instances, uh, we don't think of the rotation speed in terms of radians per second. It is expressed in uh, revs per minute, RPM. So, radians per second is really RPMs divided by 60 and uh, multiplied by 2 pi. So, I'm going to use that then instead of uh, omega. So our velocity would be equal to the RPM divided by 60 multiplied by 2 pi times the radius, and that should be equal to the Mach number times gamma r t0. Okay, I'm just going to rearrange this part of the equation uh, so I can have an expression for the velocity, sorry, not the velocity, the RPM at sea level conditions. So... There we are, and so two times the radius is, is the diameter. So I'm just going to rearrange all of this um, to have an expression for the RPM at sea level conditions. So there it is there. All right. So the RPM at any other condition would be this multiplied by whatever temperature would be at, at that condition. So if, let's say, the temperature had increased, the RPM will be exactly the same, except instead of T0, we would have uh, T1. So here is an expression. It's called theta. So theta is the ra um, ratio of the temperature T1 to the reference temperature uh, T0. And I can rearrange that to get, say that T1 is equal to t naught times theta, and I'm going to substitute that back in here. So though, there's my uh, new RPM, and I'm going to take the square root of theta out of there, so that's out to one side, and then I have that the RPM is this value here, which is exactly the same as down here, so I can say that n1 is the RPM at sea level conditions times the square root of theta. And we just want to rearrange that to have this to one side. So what is the corrected speed? So if I want to convert this speed to what it would be like at sea level conditions, then I just divide it by square root of theta. So that is the corrected uh, speed. I hope you find that useful.